Reporting from the Q Television Centre with news from your region. We are the first for news that matters to you locally, regionally and nationally. This is QTV News. Good morning. This is the Lifestyle News brought to you by QTV. I'm James Devlin. Dozens of people gathered in Derry yesterday to protest against the restructure of the housing executive. Trade unionists and protesters gathered in the Diamond as part of the Keep Our Housing Public campaign. The group says the loss of administration of the housing benefit could affect 80 positions in the Richmond Chambers. Union representatives will be travelling to Stormont today to lobby local MLAs and officials. The group's calling on the Social Development Minister Nelson McCausland to rethink his proposals. They say they've planned a number of protests in the coming weeks against the shake-up. New figures suggest that the Northern Trust is lagging behind the rest of Northern Ireland when it comes to hospital dental care. More than 250 patients have been waiting longer than four months for a dental appointment at Altmagelvin Hospital. Foyle MLA Colum Eastwood asked the Health Minister Edwin Putz for the figures in an assembly meeting. The Western Trust says patients from the Northern Trust have been transferred to their waiting lists. Derry City Council will today discuss a motion which could result in a bid for the Irish City of Culture title. Councillor Barney O'Hagan's making the bid and is asking other councillors to support it. He claims it will encourage a better City of Culture legacy. And St Mary's College in the city has been selected to compete in the 50th BT Young Science and Technology Exhibition. The event will be held in Dublin at the RDS Arena in January. Well that's the latest. Stay up to date online with Lifestyle and listen to Q Radio. Good morning.